Hi everyone, welcome to this module on instance metadata and lifecycle. So instance metadata includes uh, things like instance OSID, um, name, OSID is the uni unique identifier name, compartment, shape, region, um, availability domain, uh, and all the, the values you would attribute with uh, the instance. Um, you can also have custom metadata such as an SSH public key as part of instance metadata. Now instance metadata runs on every instance and is an HTTP endpoint listening at this particular uh, IP address 169.254, 169.254, really simple to uh, remember. Uh, you can get instance metadata by logging into the instance and using the metadata service site. That's a very simple way to use. And you, there are some, some commands I've listed here, right? Pretty straightforward commands where you can get all the, the metadata or you could get specific um, metadata values. Now you can also add and update custom metadata for an instance using the SDK or the CLI. So let me quickly jump to the instance uh, and we have been running a bunch of things. Uh, this is my uh, instance where we were doing some auto scaling. So if I just clear my screen and I run my instance metadata, you can see here that, um, you know, I just did a curl to this particular IP uh, address. 169.254, 169.254, and I'm trying to get all the the, the 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 metadata respective of the values which are stored. So I can see that it's in AD1 availability domain. I can see the fault domain, compartment ID, display name, uh, image, uh, so on and so forth. Right, uh, everything which is on the instance, I can I can uh, get here. I can also get the the public portion of the SSH key uh, and all the values. Now I can also update a few values if I if I want to uh, using the CLI uh, or the uh, SDK. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward, um, like with any other uh, cloud provider. Now, there are a couple of things you need to know on the instance lifecycle. Uh, starting an instance, uh, if a stopped instance is there, of course, you know, you, you, you start uh, stop, meaning uh, you shut you shut down the instance. Uh, and after the instance is shut down, you can start it again. Uh, reboot does the same thing shuts down the instance and then restarts it and sort of combines you know start and uh, and uh, stop and start uh, terminate is permanently deleting the instance you no longer need a couple of things to keep in mind when you terminate an instance the public and the private ip address are released uh, and some other instance might uh, you know are, are available for uh, other instances uh, to use both public and private ip uh, the boot volume uh, you have an option to permanently delete the boot volume. However, you can preserve the boot volume and attach it to a different instance as a data volume or use it to launch a new instance. Launch a new instance, pretty straightforward. We looked into this earlier. You have a boot volume, you could make changes and then you can launch other instances using that boot volume. Uh, you would attach it as a data volume to other instances for troubleshooting. This comes up in the exam. How do you troubleshoot an instance? Um, failing to boot or some issues with the boot volume, you could attach it as a data volume to another instance and you could use it to troubleshoot. Uh, what happens when you um, do the billing, whether you stop or start, right? So for standard shapes, the billing pauses in a stop state. Standard shapes have no local storage. Everything is block. So if you stop an instance, basically you are sort of deprovisioning the compute. Uh, your block is all on the remote storage, so you preserve that. Uh, you don't pay anything, right? Because your uh, billing stops. Dense.io have lots of uh, local storage, uh, depending on whether you're using a VM or a bare metal. Uh, and the billing continues even in the stop state, right? Uh, even if you stop it, you're still uh, uh, paying for the, those shapes. GPU shapes, again, billing continues. And then uh, HPC shapes, uh, again, the billing continues even in a stop state. So this was a rather quick module. We talked about instance uh, metadata. We talked about instance lifecycle. Um, hopefully you uh, like the uh, lecture series on the OCI compute service. Uh, if uh, Thank you for watching this lecture series. If you have time, please join me in the next uh, lecture series where we talked about the various uh, storage uh, services available uh, uh, on the OCI platform. Thank you.